Hey everybody! So today we're going to take a look at the LEGO Wally -E set that came out a few years ago, but we're not really going to be doing a review on it today. We're just going to look at it as um, things that you can do to modify it. And so I did a few modifications. Now I built uh, two of these. This one I did uh, some modifications and I did another one that had some uh, weathering that I did on it because Wally -E was, you know, relatively dirty in the movie. And so I wanted to experiment to see if I could actually weather a Lego set. I've done weathering on my model kits as you've seen in past videos, but um, I wanted to see if it would be possible to do it on a Lego set. So now this set uh, came out several years ago and um, sadly it retired pretty quick. It was only out for about a year and I think the reason Lego ended up retiring it is because um, there was a problem with Wally's neck. And so here you can see there's a ball joint, but in the earlier incarnations of this um, there was a little ratchet point right here where his you know neck could ratchet and uh because of it it had a weak connection point and the head would kind of fall over pretty easily so then they came out with this one which ended up being um, a better you know solution but they also had to make um, an addition to the um instruction book and so that had to have been pretty expensive for lego to do that and that might be one of the reasons why this set was quickly uh retired and oddly enough there has never been a model kit of Wally. -E. I'm really surprised that one of the uh, major model companies didn't make like a uh, a styrene kit of Wally -E. and it's too bad because I would love to build a model of him so uh, this is probably the closest thing we're going to get for a while. So anyway this kit was fantastic and uh, Lego did a great job. His He had all kinds of articulation where his head can lean like this and you can um, you know kind of angle it whichever way you want. You can make it higher or lower. And then you can also uh, make his eyes, you know, go back and forth like this, which is really cool. I kind of like him to have a little bit of a sad look because that's kind of how he was in the movie, which is really cute. Um, his head, you know, uh, this can turn on the ball joint. His arms were also adjustable. You could move them up and down. And his claws, you could uh, move them and cl open and close his fingers. And then his treads also would move and this was a really nice mechanism that they came up with in there and it looks very much like how Wally looked in the show in the movie so they did a great job on this now um, the modifications that I did on this one is um, relatively minor I happen to find online somebody did a really cool modification for the eyes and it, it's a, a really minor change but the eyes um, were actually slightly further apart when I uh, in the original version of how you build this but the modification I found online you do a couple of quick little changes in here with uh, one of the pieces where the eyes connect and you, by just turning it sideways um, it makes the eyes slightly closer together and because of that it gave them a little bit cuter look and so I, I did that modification on this one and then the other one and I think that was a, a really cool uh, modification that somebody came up with. Another thing that I changed on this is the uh, flower. I think it was in some kind of a pot originally, but in the movie, it's supposed to be in this boot. And uh, <laughs> I happened to find a couple of these pieces laying around in my parts bin. And I thought it kind of looked like a boot. So I just by adding it to this piece, I kind of made it look more like how it looked in the movie. So that was another little modification in there. And then um, another thing that I decided to add is, you know, Wally was a, a little trash compactor and I <laughs> love the scenes where he's scooping the trash in there and then he, you know, kind of does that little movement and then a little cube of trash pops out. So when you can open this door, of course, and I made a little cube uh, of trash in there. So with some extra pieces that I had from leftover sets, I managed to come up with this little cube of trash, <laughs> which is uh, just a bunch of random pieces of plates and one by one studs and leftover like little faucet pieces and things. And it just kind of makes it look like a little trash cube. And I thought it was kind of cool. So yeah, just a fun little thing because he's got this nice little compartment in there and it should have something in it. So I figured a nice little trash cube would go in there. So I uh, just kind of measured it out so that it would fit in there just right and the lid would still uh, close. And then uh, one more uh, modification I did uh, was on the side um, we have the striped arm section here. So uh, Wally has a very distinctive striped arm and um, for whatever reason uh, Lego just put two, uh, two of these long orange uh, tile pieces on there which 
Um, I don't know. It just looked kind of odd. I, I, I'm kind of surprised I didn't do a print or even a sticker to put on here to make those uh, lines. So I just uh, used masking tape and some model paint, some black and white model paint, and just painted the stripes. And I tried to match it with what you see in the movie where there's a little corner of white on each end on this side. And on this side, it's the same thing. A little bit of corner of white. And that way the stripes kind of look like they did in the movie. So, uh, yeah, just made it look a little more like he's supposed to. All right, now let me show you the one that I modified completely. Okay, so this is the second version of Wally that I built, and now he is completely and totally weathered, as you can see. So, um, now I know there's going to be a lot of people out there that said, how can you uh, ruin your Lego by painting it and doing that kind of stuff to it because now you can't use the bricks for anything else? Well, I don't build mocks or anything like that, and when I build a set like this, I... Uh, you know, I built it to keep it built, and uh, and I really wanted Wally to look more like a model since they don't make a model of him, like I mentioned. So um, there was a lot of modifications I did. So I did the same modifications on this Wally as I did the other one. The same with the eyes, the boot, and the sleeves here. And then he also has another trash cube as well. But now you can see there's all kinds of cool weathering on here. Now, we um, Wally, I was looking at different screen grabs and, and uh, freeze framing scenes from the movie just to kind of get an idea. But um, so if we get a little closer here, you can kind of see uh, the front in particular. He had this, uh, he had these like uh, lines right here. And uh, I just used masking tape to make those. He has this very distinctive kind of like a sideways C. And I don't know what the significance of that was in the movie. It's possible maybe one of the animators put their initial in there. And that was kind of like a, a running gag in the movie. I'm not really sure. And then he kind of has this rust or dirt that kind of goes around in a U shape like that. So I really tried to replicate a lot of the things that you saw in the movie. And uh, let me get other close-ups of him. Okay, so in looking at his hands here, I just kind of did a little bit of... So I used um, pastels, which is what I use on a lot of my model kits. So I used some black and some brown uh, for a little bit of rust coloring and just some dirt. And uh, that helped kind of give his hands some character right there. And even kind of weathered the uh, striping on his uh, sleeve there. Now, I tried really to make some cool little... Uh, you can see the nice little drip marks on there. Like, you know, there's a scene where uh, poor little Wally is standing out there protecting Eva, Eve, uh, from the rain when she was kind of in that comatose state. And, uh, and I was just thinking about how he was standing out in the rain. So you'd kind of see some drip marks from where maybe the rust had dripped down and really tried to, you know, make that kind of appear on there. And also, now this part here, um, this turned out really good. Uh, I used some panel line paint for this, and uh, I just what I did is I used this stuff here. It is uh, Tamiya panel line accent color. This is brown. I've used black on other things, and I've shown this in other videos. But it's a uh, you can see here. So it's like a really liquidy. Uh, it's like an ink. It's almost like ink. And uh, there's a brush on the lid, and you can kind of see how inky it is right there. But I just was brushing it on there, and it kind of just let it kind of let it do its thing. Just drip on there. And then uh, I made sure I kept turning the uh, the tread so that, you know, it doesn't stick because otherwise, you know, it'll probably eventually stick. So just turn it every now and then to make sure that, uh, you know, it doesn't dry and make the uh, wheels stick. And then you can see the treads here. Let me see if I can get it without a shadow. Let me see if I can move his arm. Um, but, yeah, so you can see the nice dirt build up there. And that turned out really nice, too. So I, uh, the pan line paint is what did that. I did a little bit of... Uh, um, you know, chalking or uh, pasteling, but I really tried to let that panel line paint do the job there because it, it, it should be kind of muddy looking. So yeah, that turned out really good. That panel line paint worked really, really good on that. So then let's take a look at the back now. So just uh, now there's not different scenes or different uh, screen grabs or things I saw on the internet. He looked different just about in every picture. So there's some artistic license that I had to take on some of this just because um, he doesn't look the same in every scene. Of course, he was animated, so, you know, different artists probably did different scenes or whatever. But this back section, I think it turned out pretty good. I just added these lines in here using some masking tape to kind of give it that highlight. Same here, a little bit more dripping going on. On this side, uh, we also have the... I really like this, how that turned out. I used uh, masking tape. Kind of looks like the back of a trash truck. You know how they kind of have those little... 
I don't know, they're kind of like little panels or something or girders that are normally there. And that's kind of how that looks because it kind of reminds me of the back of a trash truck. <laughs> and there's a little more dripping going on here. I think the drips really kind of make that stand out really good. You can see I put a little more panel line paint in here and on here and just really kind of let it do its trick of uh, making everything look all nice and dirty. Same thing down here. These wheels turned out really good. More uh, dirt on the treads. So yeah, and it was really fun doing this, and I was really surprised how well this uh, this actually took to weathering. And so um, what I did is I sprayed the whole thing down uh, with uh, Dull Coat, Tester's Dull Coat, and uh, that gives the um, the pastel something to stick on, because the other, otherwise the Lego pieces are just way too slick. So uh, by coating it with the Dull Coat now, you can just kind of put all this uh, pan line paint on there. And then working up to his head here now, you can see how I kind of tried to do a little bit of dirt around his eyes. Now I did take I did take these pieces off his pupils because I wanted those to stay shiny. So when I was doing the panel, uh, when I was doing the uh, dull coating, I made sure that I didn't have those on there because I just wanted his eyes to stay shiny looking because <laughs> they're, they're supposed to be like camera lenses. Now I was really happy with the way this turned out. His eyebrows, if you'll remember in the movie, he had those cute little eyebrows that would go up and down and. Since they're not really represented on the Lego model, um, I just kind of put them in there using pastels. This is all pastels. It is not paint. And so I just took some masking tape and just made some nice straight lines on here. And uh, and I used the, some brown uh, pastels and just put a heavy coat on there and try to even it out so that it looks, you know, relatively even. And then after you peel that off, you get a nice straight line on there and it gives them those nice little eyebrows on there. And up here, there's some more... Uh, panel uh, some more uh, weathering. I might have done a little sponging techniques on some of this. I can't remember. It's been a while. A little more uh, of the brown panel line paint down in here. You can see how it drip. That dripping effect works really, really good. I think I did use some sponging right here. You can kind of tell that sponging works really good. Here's his other eyebrow and a little more dripping going on on the side here. So that looks really nice. So uh, yeah, I mean it was... <laughs> It was just a fun little experiment, and I just wanted to see if it was possible to weather a Wally like you can like a, a model kit, and it actually uh, somehow it worked, and it turned out really nice, and and I just think he looks a lot more realistic. So here are the two little Wallies together now. You got the clean and the dirty version over here, and uh, so yeah, it was just a fun little experiment to uh, see if in fact Lego could be weathered like a model kit and they can it can be done um so uh yeah i mean maybe you guys out there would like to try something like this on a specific model i you could probably do this on star wars ships if you want to weather the star wars ships and make them look weathered um, you most certainly can try to do that if you're not planning on using your lego pieces for mocks or anything else if you don't you know if you're gonna if you're like me and you build your sets and you leave them like this for uh, display and you're not going to take them apart um, and I'm certainly not going to take these sets apart because uh, Wally is such a this was such a great set I kind of want to get another one just for collectability reasons but um, yeah it's certainly a, a something you can do and a, at least it's uh, we we know that it's possible now to uh, weather them up but I think uh, this guy turned out really good he looks so much more realistic and uh, and you can even paint the pieces too if you want so um, yeah just a fun little thing and I wish, uh, actually I kind of wish LEGO would bring this set back with the new neck modification. And because uh, I, I don't think this set really got a chance. I think this set would have done much better. I, I mean, I know the movie's 10 years old now, 11 years old now. And and it's such a great movie. God, I love that movie so much. And Wally is just, he's just so darn cute. <laughs> I mean, he looks great. So anyway, um, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I, maybe it'll give you some ideas on things that you can do with your Lego sets. And so anyway, thank you so much for watching. I very much appreciate it. And if you did like this video, please give it a like and uh, subscribe also if you'd like. And thanks again, and I'll see you on the next video. Take it easy.